So I have to comment on something I just read about, and, and honestly, I don't know much about the device, but apparently, uh, according to an article on Hackaday, uh, the Raspberry Pi Foundation uh, finally released an official Raspberry Pi keyboard, which is just interesting. Uh, again, I don't know much about it. It, it, it has a Raspberry Pi button instead of a, a Windows logo button. I don't really know uh, if it does anything special, but the, the point of the Hackaday article is someone bought it and cut it open, cut out a space for it, put a Raspberry Pi in there, so now the whole keyboard can just be plugged into a TV and it's a, a whole portable computer. They put a battery in there and everything. And uh, my first thought was, why didn't they design it like that? I mean, if it truly is a, a Raspberry Pi Foundation uh, product, which I went to the Raspberry Pi, official Raspberry Pi website and went to their shop and didn't see anything about the keyboard there, but why would you make anything for a Raspberry Pi that the Raspberry Pi can't go into. That's like what people do with Raspberry Pis. They take them to put them inside stuff. So why would you make a keyboard for it and not design it so that the, so that the Raspberry Pi can go inside the keyboard and have a battery in there and then you just have to plug it into a TV? I mean, it would be really cool if they had like wireless HDMI. That way you just, you know, connect it to your TV. But uh, I quickly looked and on Amazon, the cheapest wireless HDMI devices are uh, about 200 bucks. So I can see why they didn't do that. But to just have it so you pop open the little thing in there and you, it's like the pins you could just plug in and hold it in there and you can close that and it can power it that way. And you would have a portable, you know, computer, which is what this person did. But it's like, if it doesn't do that, what does it do? Uh, again, uh, I, I tried looking up just real quick, just a couple minutes. Uh, I found a place that sold them, but it wasn't the official Raspberry Pi Foundation website. Um, and uh, it just, it seems like it splits the, it says, it's, it, has, it says that it has multiple USB ports for powering your external devices. Um, but it didn't say where the power was coming from. It didn't seem like it had a battery in it. And we all know that the Raspberry Pi isn't very good at powering stuff itself. So I'm not really sure. So that might be what this Raspberry Pi keyboard does. Maybe it somehow draws power from someplace else. But again, what are you plugging it into? I, unless it has a battery inside it already, which I don't think it does because the Hackaday thing looked like someone added a battery for the Raspberry Pi. Although maybe it does have battery in it. And I just misread that article. But still, why wouldn't you design it so the Raspberry Pi goes inside? It is so confusing to me. What do you guys think? Do you think that it would be cool? I mean, there have already been devices out there, little uh, uh, tablets and, and portable computers made with the Raspberry Pi that have keyboards. But to just have a, a computer that the uh, built into the keyboard, like computers were back before I was born, uh, <laughs> or like, it's just like, that seems like a cool idea. You just carry around this keyboard and plug it into whatever screen you want. Um, if it truly was a, an official Raspberry Pi keyboard, I feel like that was a big fail because you just don't know who your market base is if you're not making it so the Raspberry Pi can go into it. Uh, as I said to a friend on Facebook, it's like baking a real Raspberry Pi and designing it so that people can't eat it. It's just odd to me. Anyway, let me know what you guys think. Have you seen this? Uh, is there something I'm missing about the actual product, or is it just a keyboard that you that can plug into your Raspberry Pi and and is a white and pink color with a Raspberry Pi logo on it? Uh, I think the one website I did find it on, it was sold with a Raspberry Pi mouse for about thirty bucks, um, which <laughs> I get. You know, cheap keyboards are are not fun to type on, but I don't know if I would purposely buy a keyboard that's as expensive as the computer I'm using it on. That just, that's one thing about the Raspberry Pi that always gets me. It's like, well, you know, it's like the peripherals cost more than the Raspberry Pi. So it's like, it just feels weird spending more on a keyboard than you do on the computer. Anyway, comments below. Let me know what you think. I hope you all have a great day. Uh, got uh, some sort of tutorial, tutorial? tutorial coming out tomorrow. And I just hope that you all have a, having a great day.